after a lovely peaceful night at the last rest stop in Georgetown, and if you try that curry recipe, make sure you add a ton more salt, <laughs> uh, we headed back on the road. And after three hours on a long straight road, we arrive at Normanton. We finally found a crocodile. No one's big. In comparison, yeah, there's two loonies walking around. At over eight and a half meters long and about two tons, Chris the crocodile is the largest recorded saltwater crocodile captured in the world. Our next destination was 381 kilometers away, and as you can see from this screenshot, well, there's not much going on on this road. We had to turn in 378 kilometers, so it was pretty straight and long and not super interesting, but at least the scenery was much greener than we expected. You always have to stay alert though because on this road there are a lot of road trains and you'd better jump out of the way when you see one coming in your direction. The smallest ones have three trailers and there was a double story one full of cows just in front of us. And this is how you arrive in style at the Bergen Wells Roadhouse. Apparently this house is quite famous, but I'm not sure why other than looking pretty. Um, they don't allow dogs inside, not even on the grass, so I really would not recommend it. So we continued on that long, long road, the very, very long and not winding at all road. And I think by the time we stopped three and a half hours after we started this morning, our minds had just gone a little bit cuckoo. So we just pulled over into a little uh, roadside campsite for the night. It's very pretty and quiet and very green actually, surprisingly. Been driving for a few hours. Yeah, and about three hours from our last stop in Normanton, which was a bit of a disappointment personally. But <laughs> Not much around, no. apart from the big croc that you yeah, saw that earlier. Cool. Uh, but yeah, there's a bit... Um, I don't know what I'm saying. Rambles, rambles. Yeah, just ramble away. Like, cause it's been driving so long. It's just busy, like. I need to like, pee, actually. <coughs> <coughs> don't go on this yet. <coughs> My brother. Um, yeah, just. I've been driving for ages. It's just like. <laughs> I need to pee. Yeah, okay. Um, pee, so. I was going to say something. I was going to say. Uh -huh. My arm hurts. Um, I don't know. Bye. <laughs> And this is what Alba Queensland looks like. And the naming of a beautiful van is finally 100% official lovely poppy in reference to our beautiful but sadly departed fur child we'll miss you so much poppy we will never forget you and you're always with us in all our travels and our hearts So we're now in Mary Kethley town. This used to be a mining town with everything you possibly could wish for. This is what it used to look like and had everything, markets, two churches, banks, schools, uh, bakeries and everything. The small white rectangles were people's houses. Each one was built in one day. And now this is where we are standing right now. This is what the town square looks like. This is where everyone used to come and shop, bank, and everything is just weird. Everything's gone. All the houses were auctioned and moved away to nearby towns. No one lives here anymore. There's just nothing left at all. Super weird. This is where the post office used to be. 
Elliot has an urgent parcel to send, but it's going to be a problem. It's the old tiles, which have been glued to the floor. And we are now standing in the ANZ building, would you believe it? I believe this would have been the fountain. Well, now it's been turned into a camping area that is free for everyone to camp at, which is fantastic. It's a beautiful property, a private property. And we have our own little corner of paradise here with pretty much nobody around. But look at this. It's got actual trees growing out of it. Or, it, or its branches. I'm confused. What is this sorcery? Good morning and it is a beautiful morning today. We slept pretty well, I think because it got quite cool during the night. It's only 17 degrees this morning, which is kind of cool for um, this time of year. But um, yeah, it's just so peaceful out here. It's just beautiful. And I'll, I'll give you a little view again so you can see something else than my face. Let me show you around. This is my view as I walk around with you this morning. And it's very excited to be up and smelling things and it's just very quiet around us this is a little camp and as you can see there's a caravan back there another one all the way back there if you can see them between the trees um so it's an amazing camp because it's so big that everyone's really spaced out and you can have your own privacy which is awesome hello elit good morning elit <laughs> Before coming here, we thought that it might be a bit spooky to sleep in an abandoned town, but uh, that's because we expected runes and weird things going on, maybe ghosts. But um, even if there were ghosts, there'd be no way for them to hide, so because there's really nothing left. It's just so weird to um, think that this field or this area I showed you before with nothing in it suddenly became a town full of people bustling um, Kids going to school people having babies uh, People going to swim in the Olympic size swimming pool and all that kind of stuff and then go back to what it was before Just a field with nothing in it. It's kind of surreal We've been cut off from the world uh, by the internet for a day or so. We only get it when we cross through a little town and then again it's just not much at all. So since we cut off we are going to just enjoy our morning, um, have some breakfast since we managed to find some bread yesterday. It's the basics you know and just uh, do some video editing, read a bit of um, the books we have and do a bit of art and just enjoy life since we got the time. Such a luxury now.